ね。Top lawn, and last year we had this wall built. Obviously, we've not quite finished it yet, and this wall goes all the way around. Um, so what I need to do on this wall now, oh, it's a tractor. Um, what we need to do now is put the coping stones on this, and then I need to do my thing and render it. Not sure what colour yet. I was thinking black. Not sure. But anyway, so yeah, to render it, and then the rest of the garden is <laughs> a bit of a building site. So if we come down here. I'll show you roughly what happened. So when we first bought this house, this whole garden, it it just sort of just sloped down. It, it was all uneven and we had tree stumps everywhere. So the first thing we got done was uh, we got the tree stumps grinded out. And then um, we got uh, a guy in and basically dug this area out and chucked it all up that end to level that off because so I think there was a pond over in this far corner um, but it was redundant so we filled that all in made that a nice um, area so the boys can play um, and then we dug all this area out here so the plan uh, for the this really is uh, all this earth here is what we've dug out for the foundations for this wall so we need to get this earth and spread it over this side so that uh, it levels this out because it sort of slopes down a little bit here so we're going to level this out um, all this hardcore is uh, a lot of it is the uh, walls that were inside the house when we done the renovations, part of the renovations uh, last year, um, we we got a um, oh what was it called? A crusher, a little crusher. So we put all the blocks and all the bricks in the crusher, and it mulches it all up. And we're going to use all this for hardcore. And over here, we're going to have a tiny little patio here uh, because that's where the sun sun comes right across here and sets over there. So yeah, it's a nice little sun trap there. So we're gonna do that. And then if there's any of this left, we're gonna put it into here because I'm gonna have like a, a shed type thing there, storage, but in nice clad, you know, wooden clad, probably probably uh, painted black. That's, so that seems to be the theme in this house um, because obviously we've got two stables there. Uh, they're gonna be converted hopefully this year. And we've got this barn uh, and that's going but we'll tell you more about that later what we're going to do with that um yeah and so then basically this will be all level nice little patio here nice little hard stand in here for a for a shed or wherever we decide to put here and then basically we're just gonna have it mainly grass but 
I've said to Becca, what I would like to do is have like a quite a formal garden on this lower half, a bit like what we've got in France, really. That 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 side garden, maybe something like that. We haven't quite decided yet, but yeah, we'll see. But at the moment, it's a complete mess. These loads of uh, love, but um, hopefully, we want to try and get this level this month. Try and get this all leveled out so that we can really make a plan of what we're going to do. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get Becca to do a little video on that, I suppose. But yeah, that is our garden. Not massive, but it's a nice sized garden for what we need it for. Um, but yeah, right, let's get this grass cut. Why Simon's busy, I thought I'd show you our allotment. So we did this about two and a bit years ago. Um, I will add some pictures and a few videos that I took when we were doing it. Um, so like I said, got our allotment. Um, we have got potatoes growing in this one. We've got onions in that one. We've got some herbs in the back one. We've got strawberries over there. This one, we're gonna put some wild flowers in there for the bees. Um, and then we've got some wild strawberries just there, but we're gonna put something else in there, but we've not decided what. Um, but yeah, and we've got some lavender growing around the outside. Um, we need to have a look at this though, cause we're not, really that green fingered we're learning as we go um and then yeah we usually put tomatoes in our greenhouse and we have done cucumbers before as well and we did melons last year um it's all like a big learning curve to us so yeah this is our little allotment
So here we have the pictures that I said that we took of us doing our allotment space. Uh, we managed to source a lot of the materials from um, Marketplace. So we got this gate from Marketplace on Facebook and also these big sleepers. We had to buy some new ones as well, but it was handy getting some that were already pre-used. And we had the leftover broken tiles that were from the roof that we used to put down as a base. Um, that's the layout that we did. And then we just filled each little nook with soil. Then the actual greenhouse, we managed to get second hand as well. One of our friends, um, member of the family friends, she was getting rid of it and said, would we like it? So we had that, um, fitted all the gate obviously. And then this just shows our garden. It was so uneven, very hickledy pickledy. It was a bit of a death trap to be honest if you walked on it. So many sort of up and down. Um, so we actually had some work done and got it all leveled. So we had the, we've got like a two level garden now. So we've got the lower level on the same level as the allotment. And then up the top end, you'll see in the next video, we've got a sort of a higher ground level. So yeah, we moved a lot of soil from the bottom up to the top to level it all off. Removed some bits and pieces and changed some of the layout of the garden as well. Um, but going back to the gate on the allotment, I actually painted it up into this nice little sage green, which has made it sort of finished it off. Um, now we've started seeding the garden at the top. So you see it's all starting to come through. That was the allotment with all some vegetables growing. I can't remember what we had in there because that was a couple of years ago now. Um, and that was all the grass that had come through from us seeding it. And then we had some more work in in to help us do some more on the lower part of the garden because we wanted to build a brick wall around those laurels. Um, so yeah, they come in and help to sort of get rid of all the weeds, scrape the ground back, make it a bit more level. And we also got in, I think Simon mentioned it to you, one of them crushers to get rid of all the stones and brickwork we had there. We had it crushed down because we're going to use that for our patio area, which is going to go in that little bit there. And then also for the base of whatever shed we put down in the, at the end of the house. So yeah, we had um, some people do that for us. And then we had all the foundations laid for the brick wall. Then we started laying the bricks. Simon and his friend were doing it actually together. So we didn't kind of like smash it all out. It was kind of when we had the time to do it, that we did it. Um, I say we, it wasn't me, Simon and his friend. Um, so yeah, we kind of built it up, not too high. We're kind of debating what color to do it. I think Simon's mentioned to you that he wants to do, likes black, I like black, but then we also wondered if to go a lighter color, but then I think lighter would probably get quite dirty from being weathered from our dog. Obviously you've seen him in the video there. That's Buzz the cockapoo. Um, so yeah, we're undecided of what color to do. I'm swaying more to black. I think Simon quite likes the idea of black, but if you've got any ideas, then drop us a comment below and let us know what color you think. Cause we'll be using the K-Rend, which you can get colored render obviously. And that'll be Simon doing that because he does that part of his job anyway. So yeah, this is it all finished for now. And then we've just got to start working on the bottom part of the garden. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video that we've just done. Um, all your support so far hasn't gone unnoticed. We really do appreciate it. Keep your eyes peeled for a new video coming out on Sunday of work we've done inside the house.